What is up guys? This is Zach from Anglers Escape and today I'm going to be doing some creek slash stream fishing with one of my favorite setups and that's a light action rod and reel, four pound test line and then an inline spinner. Inline spinners are one of the best baits for these small creeks and streams. They catch anything from panfish, bass, trout, bluegill, all kinds of different fish species. I actually from Amazon I picked up a pack of Panther Martin inline spinners. It was I think 18 bucks for six lures which isn't too bad. It's about three bucks a piece. Blue Fox and South Bend also make some great inline spinners, but this is a size one inline spinner. I also like size two for these small creeks and streams. Let's see if we can have some luck today and hopefully we catch some nice fish. All right, here's another sunfish on the inline spinner. Beautiful day out here. Cool little fish species. I'll show you guys what it is. It's a little creek chub. These guys are pretty good bait for bass and catfish, so I'm gonna put them in my bucket for now, but nice little bait. Another nice sunfish. Alright guys, now we have a little bluegill. So we got some sunfish, some bluegill. Earlier I caught some little smallmouth bass on this, but they're loving this little inline spinner. Alright, so I just showed you my favorite lure for creek fishing. That's that size one inline spinner from either Blue Fox, Panther Martin, or South Bend. But when that stops working, so I caught about four or five fish in this little pool back here with the inline spinner, then I bring out the worms. And this is a great go-to for creeks. And basically I'm still using the same light action rod, four pound test line, but I've hooked up a real small bobber. The smaller the better, so when they start pulling the bobber under, they feel less resistance, they're less likely to spit out the hook. And then about two to three feet down I have my bait, but before I get to my bait, about six inches up, I have a piece of split shot to weight it down. And then I have a real small hook with a real small piece of worm. And if you're ever losing your bait or you're getting your bait stolen, that's usually because either your bait or your worm size is too big. So let's go ahead and see if we can't catch some fish. Alright guys, so that inline spinner stopped working after I caught four or five fish out of this pool. And the second I casted in that worm, this guy nailed it. This is a nice sunfish. As you can see, I'm just using a really small piece of worm, small hook, and just gotta be ready to set that hook and beautiful fish. All right, guys, I just wanna show you one of the best places on creeks to fish. So wherever you find like a big pool of water, you can see normally behind me before you get to this bridge, the creek's actually only like six inches deep and probably only five feet wide. So you don't wanna fish those areas, but if you hike these creeks for a little ways, you can find areas where it opens up and you get like this nice little pool of water and that's where a lot of the bigger fish hang out. But just find some deeper pools, find the creek on Google Maps, make sure you bring some water shoes or some hiking boots and then you might have to hike a half mile through the creek to find some good spots because a lot of it might only be six inches deep and five feet across for 90% of it but then you get 10% where you get these nice pools where normally the creek is just six inches and five feet wide. When you go creek fishing, make sure you bring some hiking boots or sandals and uh, be prepared to hike a little ways to find a good spot. All right guys, almost instantly again when I cast it out, another little green sunfish on that worm. Real small itty bitty hook. 
You can see my bait size, there's really not much worm there. Third fish with the worm in about three minutes. Not bad. And that inline spinner, I caught about four fish in 10 minutes and I stopped getting bites and switched over to worm and started catching them again. So sometimes I just like different baits. But uh, always when you go fishing, bring one of those little inline spinners, then bring some worms on a four pound test line, light action rod and reel, and you can't go wrong. So I hope you try out one of these tips here today. And as always, best of luck fishing.